everyone! I'm super excited about today's episode because we're celebrating fall. And even though it's 80 degrees here in Southern California, I grew up in Virginia and fall is one of my favorite seasons. So what better way to celebrate than to make fall food? We're going to make shrimp and grits, a butternut squash salad, and roasted pumpkin seeds today. Let's go! our squash. This is a butternut squash. Um, around fall time I'm sure you see all kinds of squash uh, show up in your supermarket. So this is what you want to buy for this recipe. Um, the best way to prepare this is to use a vegetable peeler and you're just going to peel off the skin. This is a little bit hard and it takes a little bit of time but once you get the hang of it it's not too bad. So we're just going to peel off all the skin and then we'll chop off the ends and cut it in half. Okay, so we're gonna cut off the ends. Look how orange it is on the inside. Looks good. Okay. And it doesn't have to be perfect or pretty because you're gonna chop this up anyways. So we're gonna cut this up into small cubes. I preheated the oven to 375 and we're going to put some olive oil, salt, and pepper on it and just roast it for about 30 minutes. Now, I do have a trick. If you don't want to go through all this effort and you're thinking right now that this is ridiculous, that it's so hard to cut up a squash, you can go to Trader Joe's and buy this. And it's about the same price as this. So it's less squash, but it's a lot easier. So there you go. Okay. So I finished cutting up the squash, and as you can see, this is a lot of squash compared to this, but still, this makes it a lot easier. Okay, we're going to take some extra virgin olive oil and drizzle it across the top a fair amount, give it some moisture, and salt, same thing, a, a decent amount. You want it to be coated and some will fall off. This, this is just sea salt and then some pepper. This is pretty easy. Once you've got it all chopped up, we're just going to put it in the oven and stir it around from time to time um, to make sure the squash gets cooked up evenly on all the sides. Oops, I dropped one. So <laughs> you just want to mix it around. I use my hands. I mean, you can use a spatula if you want, but just get everything coated nicely, and then we'll put it in the oven. Okay, so while our butternut squash is cooking, we can start the shrimp. I'm just using some frozen shrimp. This is from Trader Joe's. You can definitely use um, fresh shrimp, and it's probably better, but I have these in my freezer at all times, so it's just easy and convenient, and I think they taste pretty good. So now that they're nice and thaw, I'm going to put them in a bowl and then season them with, this is a Creole seasoning, kind of a Cajun-y flavor. I just got this at Vaughn's, probably at any normal grocery store. Trader Joe's does not have it, actually. Um, you could also use a spice rub of your own or any kind of spicy flavors you like. Um, so we're just going to shake this onto the shrimp. This does have salt in it already, so be conscious of that. And you don't want to put too much because then they'll be way too salty. I've made that mistake before. <laughs> we're just going to let these sit and let the flavors uh, marinate into the shrimp for a little bit and cut up some green pepper and onion for our shrimp and grits. So traditional shrimp and grits usually don't have any vegetables in it, but I like to add a little green pepper and some onion just for color and flavor. Um, I just think it needs a vegetable. <laughs> You want it to be pretty small pieces because um, you don't want it to be like a big bite. You just want it to kind of add a little bit of texture into your grits. So we're going to saute the pepper and onion. I'm just going to turn my pan to medium heat and put some olive oil on it. And we're going to 
We're going to saute the whole green pepper and the onion until um, the onion is a little bit translucent. After about two or three minutes, I'm going to crush a clove of garlic into it as well. Okay, so while the veggies are sauteing, we can start boiling some water for our grits. Um, you can just follow the directions on the back of the box, and I'm going to do it for four people. So that's going to be three cups of water, four in here, and I'm going to bring that to a boil. I'm going to check on our butternut squash and give it a little stir. So now we can add our grits to the boiling water. Uh, for four servings, it says three fourths of a cup, so I'm gonna add three of these, one fourth a cup. There, we're gonna put that in, and then you wanna stir it around. And then put a lid on it. We'll check back on that in about five minutes. So the veggies look like they're getting a little bit of brown color on them now, and that is the perfect time to add in our shrimp. So at this point when you're making the meal, this is all going to happen very fast. Shrimp does not take very long to cook at all, and neither do grits. So once we add in the shrimp, hopefully the grits will be done at about the same time. And I also like to add a little bit of butter, I'd say about a tablespoon. I just, I think it gives the shrimp a really good flavor to have a little bit of melted butter in there. So we'll just put that in and kind of stir it around. You want to flip the shrimp after a few minutes when they start to curl up and turn light pink. I think the grits should be just about done. They look good. They're sort of watery, but they're getting thicker. So at this point, I think I'm going to turn off the heat. And then I'm going to add another non-traditional shrimp and grits ingredient, but I love it. Smoked Gouda cheese. Um, I'm going to shred about a third of this and put it straight into the grits. And when it melts, it adds such a good cheesy, smoky flavor to the grits. I think it really makes this dish amazing. So our shrimp is nice and pink and all curled up. Um, so I'm going to turn it off. And check on our butternut squash. I think it should be done. Ooh, it looks so good. Okay, so we're gonna let everything cool just a little bit. And in the meantime, I'm gonna prep the rest of the salad that we're gonna put the butternut squash in. I got a mix, herb salad mix from Trader Joe's. So I'm just gonna dump that into a bowl. Okay, so we have that. Then I'm going to cut up some baby beets that I also got at Trader Joe's. And they're awesome because they're already soft and really all you have to do is slice them up. Then we're going to sprinkle in some pine nuts. You can toast these also in a pan if you just want to put them over low heat for a few minutes. It really brings out the flavor. Um, but I'm just going to put them in raw today and sprinkle however much you like. And then lastly, we're gonna crumble in some goat cheese. Crumble this in with your fingers. Okay, so I'm gonna rinse my hands off and then we can assemble everything. I hope you guys enjoy this recipe as much as I do and it gets you in the fall spirit.